What's up guys, another day to be great. Now, do you struggle with getting in and out of your breaks? You feel sluggish and slow when you want to attack and be aggressive and be really explosive in and out of your chain of direction. Well, today I'm gonna go over my four speed drills to help you cut faster, be more effective and efficient so you can become that explosive athlete like never before. Athletic dominance at its finest. Let's get after this workout. Let's go. All right, so I just finished my foam roll series. I did some massage gun, right? Kind of loosened up the body. And now we're gonna go right into our full warm up. Now this is our dynamic series. We're gonna make sure that we do some jumping jacks, some crisscross jumping jacks, open and close, squats, lunges, side lunges, the whole bit, just to make sure that we're really loose and primed for the workout. Before we go to block number one, our foot and ankle series. Let's get after it. All right, so the warm up is finished. We're gonna go to block number one, get our body prep primed and ready to go for this incredible epic workout. So block number one is our foot and hip series. There's only two exercises, so you're gonna be done fairly quick. Now, I would love for you to be barefoot so you can really grip and feel the ground, all the small intrinsic muscles to really fire up so you can get that great sensation from the foot, ankle, and hip. Now, I'm using my minimalist barefoot shoes. These are the Vivo barefoot. If you have these, you can keep them on because guess what? You can really spread your feet open and grip it. So the first exercise is going to be our leg swing. So big toe, second toe pointing straight ahead. Grip the ground, a slight knee bend. Make sure that you can use the arms a little bit. You don't have to have them off. All you're gonna do is go in front, swing, five. So five to one side, five to the other side, 10 total. And then we're gonna go from behind again. And you're gonna see how challenging this is. And then we're gonna go in front, big range of motion here. Reason why I like this is that we're gonna get a lot of hamstring work, hip work, we're working on balance, stability, and full body control. Because as you bring the leg out, guess what? It wants to pull you into a different direction. So you gotta have a ton of core engagement and core control and hip and pelvis control. As you can see, the further I go, the harder it gets. I want you to do five on each side, like I said, one round, open it up, and then we'll go to the next one. Let's do it. All right, so exercise number two in block number one is our single leg reach and squat. So. Same thing as the last one, big toe, second toe, pointing straight ahead, slight knee bend. On this one, you wanna reach out with the opposite leg as far as you can, really trying to drive the knee forward by keeping the heel on the ground. So we lean out as far as we can, reach. Now as I do that, I wanna make sure this knee is in line with this pinky toe to the third toe. Don't let that foot shift in. I don't wanna see a, a break in the arch. Make sure it's driving straight ahead. You're gonna feel a lot of ankle uh, mobility here. Then from there, you're gonna bring this leg back and you're gonna squat as low as you can. Now you don't have to touch the ground and you come right back up. You'll feel that tremendously in the glutes in the upper hamstrings. You're gonna do six to eight repetitions of this, <sighs> trying to keep your chest up nice and tall and we're gonna activate <sighs> all those muscles. There it is. All right, so we are finished our warm up. We're finished our prep. Now these are our four drills, our four exercises to cut faster, change directions, get in and out of your break with more power and explosivity. These are my favorite drills. They're super easy. You don't need a lot of space and you're gonna get so much out of it and increase your athletic performance and become that game change, life trying show stopping athlete like never before. Now the first one, the first two are quick touches. So I want you to have quick ground contact time. So quick touch, make sure that you're in control and they're just line jumps. So we have 20 from side to side. And the first one is going to be here. Quick, fast, and dynamic. Notice that every time that I hit the ground, my arms are in sync. That's going to allow me to touch and go with efficiency, coordination, great rhythm, and timing. So I'm here, I got 20. Relax, I'm gonna do 20 on the other side. Let's get it and then I'll show you the next one. So after you finish your lateral jumps, we're gonna go into our forward jumps. Now, when you do these ones, make sure you have the exact same technique. Chest like you have the knees and toes and you're using those arms in coordination and great rhythm with your jumps. So you're forward and back, quick, 
fast. You see my knee is pulling through in the front side, and you're done 20. You can switch to the other side. I want to have very quick, fast, reactive touches. You don't want to be slow on these. Just like when you're coming in and out of a break and you're going to change directions or speed up and accelerate, you want to be fast. Put that foot on the gas. Let's go. All right, so those first two really ramps up our nervous system. Now we're prep prime ready for the last two. So now we're gonna hit different angles coming out of the break. So when you see um, athletes really drive and explode and push out of that break, we wanna now start to work some of those different angles. So this one is a single leg jump, and then you're gonna attack different angles. Push, push, right? And what I'm trying to do is attack shift my body weight very quickly, project back to where I just was, and I wanna be very powerful, but very quick. Just like when we did those quick, fast touches, I wanna be the same thing, but just a little bit more power, because now we have full foot contact instead of just the ball of our feet. So you're here, we're gonna hit one on that angle, one right beside us, and one slightly back behind us. We do three, and then we switch to the other side. Let's get after it. So, our fourth and final exercise in this speed drill is our three-step deceleration breakdown. Now we know it's not how fast you can run, it's how great you can slow down. It's not how high you can jump, it's how great you can land. This is huge. We've done our quick, fast, dynamic work. We've hit our different angles with a full foot contact, be more powerful and explosive. But now we wanna work on that deceleration. Now one thing that I usually see when guys do this is that their arms get dead. So it takes longer to re-accelerate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be in the spot, almost like a high knees. You're gonna get your own rhythm, your own timing on this, and then you're gonna take one, two, three, and then decelerate. So you're gonna break down. So what does that mean? Bend your knees, drop your hips, come to balance, and don't get too low, because we don't wanna sink into this. Because in sports, you don't sink all the way down. It's almost like a quarter squat bend. So you break down, boom, get stiff quick, right? Get more onto that midfoot, don't heel strike, because we don't wanna to put too much stress through the hamstrings. So we get into that nice decel break, and then we just keep those arms going boom, boom, and then we come right back up. We don't wanna see the arms go like this, what we call briefcase arms, or if we're holding weights and bring us down, it's harder to get back out. And we don't wanna beat the drum as we're coming through and break out. So we wanna just make sure we're here, break down and come back up, break down, come back up. So you can see those arms still help me. I had to re-accelerate, boom, boom, boom. And we got three per side. The reason why I want three per side is quality. Meaning that I decelerate and then get my body out of it quickly. I don't wanna be tired, I don't wanna be fatigued. I wanna feel like each rep is the same. I attack the angle, I'm aggressive, and I'm powerful once I come out of it. Let's go. Woo, man, I feel absolutely incredible. So those first four speed exercises to change directions more explosively and more efficiently are gonna help you with now our speed drills. The first one, you only need two cones and it is our figure eight. Now the reason I love this, because it works on deceleration qualities and then re-acceleration and now we're gonna be able to put all the pieces together. So we're gonna start on the outside, on the left side of the, of the cone. Now you can do this on either side, um, the start doesn't really matter. Now, this is what I need. So we know a straight line is from point A to point B on the cones. We wanna stay as tight as humanly possible to there, and then as I start to get to the midline, the middle of the cones, I'm gonna slightly shift to the opposite direction. That's where the figure eight's gonna happen. Now this is where that three-step breakdown comes into play. So we break down. Now if I wanna get back towards that direction, which I know I'm going to, the first thing that needs to get around is not the feet, it's not the hips, it's not the shoulders. I have to see where I'm going. So I get my eyes and I snap my head to that cone. What that's gonna do is it's gonna quickly throw my hips and my shoulders towards that direction in a very tight manner. Because most athletes, where they get this wrong is they wanna get around quick, but their eyes look somewhere else. They look a little bit further off in the distance. So they go that way and then they have to realign and pull themselves back in. We're losing time and efficiency. So this is where it comes in. Three step deceleration, that quick, hard break. Eyes get around, snap those hips, and then we use those arms to re-accelerate out. It's very fast because we put the pedal to the metal, we accelerate fast as we can, zero to 100, and then re-decelerate um, as quick as you can. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> 
And that right there, you can see how I drop my hips, bend my knees, come to balance, decelerate, get the eyes around, reaccelerate, rip my arms through, rip that knee through, drive and attack and get out with a sense of urgency. That's how I become the greatest athlete in the world, baby. Athletic dominance at its finest. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna finish off this incredible speed session with our final drill, and it's our zig sags change direction. So this is where you really stick and attack and drive and explode out of the position with, again, a sense of urgency, but sports is all about reactivity, but we're building the foundation for success. So learning rhythm, timing, body control, synchronization, when you put it all together and when you're on the field, the court, the ice, whatever that you may play, you're gonna feel better. Your body's gonna be in a better Syncrasy. So this is similar to the figure eights, but instead of going around and coming back, we're going to start at one cone, come break down, and then on the outside leg, plant that leg, get the eyes to the other cone. That will then turn and shift my hips and my shoulders to that direction. My foot will then point, I break down, stick, and then drive again and attack the angle. Now, depending on the space that you have, I wanna do six cuts. In my case, I have two hard aggressive breaks and then I'll turn around and do it again three times because I want to be able to get three aggressive breaks on each, on each side. And each time that you do it, you can be a little bit more aggressive. So we bend the knees, drop the hips, and attack the angle. So in the first few, I'm just going to find that rhythm. Break, break, and come back. I'll walk it back, and I'm going to do that again. Now, the reason why I'm walking back is because I want to show you each time instead of turning my back to you, but you can just turn around and do it again. Again, now you're gonna see how fast I accelerate, decelerate, and then explode. So you're here, boom, get out of it, boom, get out of it, and drive. You can see that I drop my weight, but it's not very far, like I don't sink, I attack and push. Attack and push. One more, watch my eyes, watch the shoulders and hips. And out. That right there is our zigzags, that's gonna allow you to get out of those breaks faster, more efficiently. And as you can see, I'm exhausted, but it tell, I'm telling you, this makes the world of a difference. As you can see, we took it to another level. If you like this workout, no, no, no. If you loved this workout, let me know in the comment section below if anything else you guys wanna see when it comes to speed, agility, reaction, elusiveness, if you wanna be that game change, electrifying, show-stopping athlete, then I know you wanna be athletic dominance at its finest, then you gotta let me know. And if you guys wanna join us and do more programs like this and sessions to really take it to another level, then check out our incredible 30-day athletic dominance base phase. This is where you're gonna get the all-access pass into how to build your own customized program tailored specifically to you if you're in season, off season, or just someone like myself that's 34 years old, a dad of three, that wants to continue to elevate and take his games to the next level 365 days a year, all day, every day, and especially on game day, because you know we still play at the highest level. Then sign up today, you're gonna get it free. Check the link below, all access pass. I cannot wait to see you guys again. This was four exercises, speed drills to make you faster, and I hope it will. Let's go! Oh! <laughs>